Mm. Uh, uh, this is my favorite time of the Wednesday after all of school. Um, I got a. Um, I'm reviewing. Um, sorry, brain fart. I'm reviewing Chucky season three, episode three today. So I just want to talk about a couple things. So last episode of me reviewing number two, all right, I got a commenter saying that I did gays dirty. Look, I wasn't trying to offend you, so I apologize. That's not who I am. But I just appreciate it if, like, you wouldn't comment that kind of stuff saying that, like, I'm trying to make gays look bad because I have no problem with, you know, gay people. That's completely fine with me. It's just not my thing. That's, I was just stating that. I was stating my opinion. So, um, if you want to be the dick about me having my own opinion, then do it. I'm just saying I have nothing against gays. It's just my opinion. But from now on, so I don't offend anybody, I will not be talking about Jake or um, De Devin is his name in the show. I, for I forget, but their relationship. I will no longer be talking. I'll talk about the characters. I will not talk about their relationship. Um, so, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Right away, so I have nothing against gays. I, I, I don't know. Um, that kind of that kind of ticked me off, but I'm sorry. I did not mean to offend anyone. So, um, anyway, I'll be reviewing it today. Uh, I had my prediction video out uh, a couple hours ago, maybe like around three o'clock, three ish. Um, so, yeah, um, I feel like Andy's gonna die in this episode. So. That's gonna be unfortunate. They, they better not do him fucking dirty though. Give him a fine death. <sighs> All right, guys, let's let's review this. You know what's kind of crazy? Oh my god. I actually feel safe. I never thought this day would come. They're gonna kill Andy. Oh my god. I do not want to see my favorite character die. See you soon, okay? I'm literally, I'm so nervous. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. I already know. Oh my god, guys. He's dying, he's dying. No! 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 <gasps> oh no! I'm so pissed. What the fuck? I can't. I'm just. He's going to use her. Guys, I... I'm so pissed. This better be a dream sequence or... I'm literally going to cry. This is... I can't fucking believe it. Dude, there's no way he's surviving that. He got stabbed through the cheek. Unless if he has stitches. God damn. Oh my god, I'm literally... <laughs>
They did him dirty. I'm so fucking pissed. I don't know if I can go on with this show. I want to break something. I'm literally... Motherfucker. I'm so furious right now. I literally, I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. I thought it was going to happen in season two. Thank God he went like, like out. Yeah. Honestly, they ruined, they ruined the legacy. They fucking ruined it. I can't fucking believe this. They fucking ruined the legacy. They just killed him off. <laughs> He's the one who started all. What do, what do, don't the fucking directors understand? How the finale should have ended in here. All the, all the motherfuckers teamed up on Chucky. Killed him. I don't, I can't fucking believe this. They literally. I don't know if I can, I. I don't know if I can continue with the show after this episode, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Honestly, if I, were, if I weren't a YouTuber, well, not, I'm not a popular YouTuber, but if I didn't do movie reviews, I literally would not keep going with this show. I literally just, I'd stop here. I literally stop, but I'm, I'm so pissed, but every Wednesday you'll still see Chucky reviews, but oh my God. I am so pissed. There's no way he's surviving that. That that's literally traumatizing. Simple. Seeing an OG like that just fucking ruined his legacy. I'm honestly so pissed. They ruined the legacy, man. Otherwise, a good episode. Um. They're having a behind the scenes right now of his death. So this is real. I was hoping it's a dream sequence or he's going to survive with stitches, but there's, there's just, there's no way. There's no way. It's so unfortunate. Literally, it's one of my favorite characters. I just, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know when. But other than that, great episode. Um, with the first three episodes... I really, I didn't know where this series was going to go. And I, it was my least favorite season, but there's only three episodes. So eventually I got into it a little more, rewatched some episodes. I just, I still had no clue where the show was going to go. Um, there was a lot of still unanswered questions, but this episode's actually a flashback explaining how Tiffany's still alive from the last season, how T Chucky got in the White House. Like, literally the last five minutes is just recapping the first episode. So now everything makes sense. And I do feel like that's something that they should have done in the first episode. I don't know why it just took the episode three to do it. But I can see this is going to be a dark season. It's bloody as fuck. It's literally the goriest season. Um, at least they gave my boy, the taxi driver, a good death. He like, shoved an umbrella in his throat so far and then opened it up. It's like fucking amazing. It's crazy. It's like. But I'm just so disappointed about. I'm just shocked because literally he's a legacy character. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. Also, that reminds me, um, Nika is a character that has been so, through so much in this franchise. I mean, she's she's in a wheelchair already. She got stabbed multiple times. She got blamed for somebody else's crime. She got her arms and legs freaking amputated. But in this episode, a lot of fans are just kind of pissed about that. You know, that she just gets the most shit out of any character. Yeah, which I can understand. 
you know, why do you put so much torture on a character that's already in a wheelchair that's fucked up? But they gave her some justice in here, you know. Uh, Tiffany gets blamed for all the crimes she did, but she pleaded insanity, which was kind of the trick the viewer. But, um... You're done now? Okay, stop taking. Honestly, guys, yeah, sorry it wasn't much energetic. I'm still kind of disappointed that my favorite, favorite character died. <sighs> At least they gave him a good death, but... I'm not gonna lie, he went out like a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alex Vincent, thank you so much for so many freaking years of my childhood, man. You have made this character such nostalgic for me. It's, it's just, thank you so much for doing so many movies in two seasons. So, that's, that's it. That's my review, guys. It's a good episode. Give it a 7.5 out of 10. So, good job. Forgot to say one thing, so we're halfway through next week. That's the last episode we're going to see for a while, until 2024, so that's going to suck. So, um, just want to let you guys know that.